guys welcome to my channel and welcome to day 17 of vlogmas i honestly can't believe i have successfully uploaded vlogs for two and a half weeks every day that is crazy because i've been all over the place me and cody went to the waffle house for breakfast i had eggs bacon and hash browns not keto am i still doing keto i've taken a couple days off of like really tracking anything and not in ketosis right now just while my life is so crazy it's been so hard for me to stay in ketosis while i'm not eating keto i am trying to stay lower carb and when i get back home to texas tomorrow and things are going to be a little less stressful hopefully by thursday i will have an apartment to live in i've got to move to dallas soon and right now some of the things have been a little bit crazy in my life and i've put my diet my food in the foreground and have been thinking about work and moving and all kinds of other things sometimes your plate gets full so however i am still keto cat but I'm about to be back fully hardcore once some of these stresses are out of my life. As soon as I can take a deep breath and know that I have a plan, I'm going to feel so much different. I'm going to be back in the gym and just my life is a bit of a mess with all of the stuff going on right now. Anyways, I just rambled on for way too long. Me, Cody, and Cody's mom are about to go to the Beau Rivage in Biloxi, Mississippi. There's this Christmas on Ice show that we have tickets to. So I am about to get inside, go put on some makeup, make my face look a little better than it does now. And I will take y'all with us today. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 18. I think I kind of failed yesterday, so I am going to have to do a Vlogmas 17 and 18 together. I did not get enough film yesterday. I was busy. It was my last day with my boyfriend. So we just kind of had some time to ourselves, and I just didn't feel like picking up my camera. I'm sure y'all understand. Anyways, it is bright and early this morning. I was going to stay here in Alabama and work for a couple hours, but since the weather is so crappy today on the road, I decided to start hitting the road early and just get home earlier in the day. Don't have to deal with darkness. So, that's what I am doing right now. I am leaving Alabama, heading back to Baytown, Texas, so that tomorrow I can drive to Dallas, Texas. <laughs> Woo! Lots and lots and lots of driving. Let's go. Is that a squirrel, Bill? Is that a squirrel? Oh! Look at that squirrel. Quick update, it's about one o'clock. I just stopped and visited my grandparents real quick, said hello, because it's right off the interstate and getting some gas right now filling up the truck because i was on empty flat out empty i've got Bo right here and we have about three and a half more hours until we get back to baytown so just gonna keep on driving i've got some work to do tonight i've got to pack for dallas i've got to unpack my truck because it's literally full to the brim on both sides like i've got so much crap Whew. Got a lot to do. Lots, a lot, a lot to do. 
We're about two hours from home, but we just made a quick pit stop at the oil and gas park. And it's in Louisiana, about 64 miles from Texas, but there's a big pond, some walking trails. If you go over there, there's some alligators you can hold. But for now, we're just going to take him on a quick little walk to stretch his legs, then hop right in and keep on going. Right? You want to go for a walk? Yes. What is it, Bo? No, we're not going swimming. Pretty little pond. Walk to stretch both of our legs. Thankfully, it's not raining, but looking at this pretty little pond, there's a bunch of ducks and turtles. Ooh. Hey guys, so I just got home. Well, I didn't just get home. I got home like four hours ago or so, and I just haven't picked up my camera. I'm at home. I've got trouble here cuddling with me. Bo on my pillow over there. I got home tonight. I had so much stuff to unload from my truck. And then I got down on my computer, did some work. Tomorrow we are going to Dallas to start the apartment shopping, which should be very hectic, very stressful. But hopefully when we come home on Thursday, I will leave with a lease signed on an apartment. Bo stole all the pillows. He's sleeping on all of them right now. And Trouble is not very happy that his pillow got taken. Alright, fixed them up so they both have a pillow. The mangy mutts are happy to go to bed. So for those of y'all wondering why Trouble's haircut looks so ugly, he is an old man who has been banned from all the groomers because he likes to bite. And so I just used some scissors to butcher his face and try to be able to like get the hair around his eyes. Like, <laughs> he's so bad. He will bite the crap out of you. So he's all and even all over him because I shave him until he bites me. And I just do it day by day. How long can I shave him until he bites me? Yeah. But you should be able to see now, stupid dog. Oh, he's so bad, but we love him. I just got my BoxyCharm in the mail this month. This is like my favorite subscription box by far. It is $20, and so you get five products, and let's see. So, 32, 30, 24, 23, 12. This is like over $100 in this box, and you only pay 20 bucks for it. We got a blush brush by Crown Brushes. We got a Tardis mascara. And these are all full size products. We got a pretty vulgar lip color. It's really pretty. It's like soft pink and sparkly. Cool. Next up is this Real Her blush kit. So this is the blush kit that I got. And I really like this color Unstoppable because I've been all about the like dark blush colors lately. And lastly is this Bella Pierre Cosmetics. It's like a color correcting palette. So, hey look, there's me. Hi. So they have the colors that help to correct the shades of your skin like redness or dark circles. I've never really color corrected with colors like this, but since I got this, I might have to give it a try. And that was my little boxy charm that I got this month. This is not sponsored. This is just my favorite subscription box ever. I've gotten a couple and I've canceled all of them, but this one. I'm sorry today was a pretty, you know, boring vlog. I got up, I drove visited my grandparents, I drove some more. I got home and cleaned out my car and got on the computer. So I was a boring person. But hopefully the next couple of days will be super exciting. Going around Dallas and finding a place to live. I hope you enjoyed these last two days of Vlogmas. Sorry that I had to combine these two days. Whoopsies, oh well. 
please give it a thumbs up and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.